maybe. Caught me in my natural habitat. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? You here to take the tour? Yep. Let's do it. Come on. Disco first. Tanning area of the house. It's turret number one. There's uh, four turrets. Circular turning. <laughs> turning back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. This thing to show you is uh, there's a couple of secret passages. This is a waterfall here, a um, little pond, and this goes through to the, uh, to the disco. And I've got a railing to go around up to the very top as well. A bit of magic happens once in a while. It's the, uh, the observatory. This is the gazebo. That's um, a better view, I guess, of the whatever. A couple of uh, songs have been written in this cave. But I've got uh, six fillies and a couple of buck and broncos down there. And two stallions, one, one, one Arabian. And the trails go all the way around, so it's a lot of fun. This goes down to my dungeon. I've got a dungeon through that door, which I will not take you because only privileged people get to see that. Not that you're not privileged, but I myself haven't been down there and I don't know what's there right now. <laughs> I haven't been down there since. This is the uh, pool. Original con. It's an organ. It's a foot pedal organ. Um, the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the this opens up onto the jacuzzi, which is uh, pretty self-explanatory. I got more caves back over here. More caves that lead into little. Well, I'll take you to the one little uh, stony cave. Not all of it's stony. But this is my little ashram. And this is where uh, some songs have been. Some songs have been written here amongst other bunch of events. And this goes through to my chicken coop. The girls are here. And this, this a peacock, a peahen, I should say, not a peacock. And, uh, Prick. Prick. He's tucked away in there, but he cocks in the morning, man. He'll wake you up. I'm used to it, though. <clears throat> okay, let me see. Where else? This goes true to the bedroom. 
that is seldom used by members of the band or whoever decides to uh, trick it up. Just throw a bar in. Um, for the dining experience over here. This is actually a French piece. Built in the 18th century. Somewhere around there, anyway, this the guy was totally bullshitting me. Here's Barney. Hi! Hi, Barney! He's a little shy, but when we walk away, he'll start speaking. If... <laughs> he has a tendency to imitate girls' orgasms. Hello! Sorry about the mess in here. over and uh, he just rattled off a full conversation I mean it went back and forth because I knew all of it I know his vocabulary it's big vocabulary but this is a this is a place I like to come there's a chateau over there to my neighbor we sometimes exchange smoke signals I don't know if you can see the chateau Where's my finger? but, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but in those uh, the obvious the radio tower which is I'll show you now to a couple of turrets. This goes through and across in a bridge, and I've got a, I've got a, a, a studio across the, the, the thing. I'll take you across the bridge anyway, so you can see. The castle was built in 1860. <laughs> a little studio area. Show it up your bum. <laughs> Finger your asshole. Okay. 
That's it. I've seen most of my house, except for the parts that I uh, can't show you. That aren't uh, the parts that are not allowed to be seen by uh, by children and by uh, people under the age of 21. So therefore, we have to sort of keep this at least uh, PG or R rated. So um, it was a personal tour to be able to take you to the dungeon and to the West Wing which is my shagadelic wing over here, which unfortunately I'm not permitted to show you because of the, uh, the rating violations that it would incur. come for you to leave my friend get the fuck out <laughs> get out <laughs> Oh, my God.